Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to part one of my Canon 77D tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna go through a few things to get you up and running so you can use your Canon 77D. By the way guys, in case you didn't know, I'm actually currently giving away a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600 to one lucky subscriber. So if you wanna enter, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it guys, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top five must have accessories for the Canon 77D. Now that link will be in the description box below under this video, and you can take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the things to get you up and running with your Canon 77D. So let's get started by taking a look at the basics to get your brand new Canon 77D up and running. Firstly, in order to get your camera up and running, we'll need to install the battery. Now these generally come pre-charged a little bit, but it's actually a good idea to charge it for a few hours before you actually put it into your DSLR. It's really easy to insert your battery into your 77D. All you need to do is flip it over, press down this little open button, and the port will spring open. Once it's open, you can place the battery into the camera, making sure these little connectors on the end here line up with the ones on the inside of your camera. Once that's done, you can close the slot, turn on the camera using the dial at the top here to see that we've got some power. Next up, if you wanna save the photos that you take with your Canon 77D, and I'm sure you do, you'll need one of these, an SD card. Now these are really cheap these days from places like Amazon or eBay, and it's best to get an SD card that's got at least 16 gigabytes of storage, so you can take lots of photos without having to change them. To put the SD card in the camera, you wanna press this little opening here and push the SD card in. On some cameras, the SD card will have its own slot, and on others, it'll be shared with the battery compartment, but on the Canon 77D, we've got our own slot. Now, if you want to get the SD card out again, so you can actually put it into your computer or the SD card reader, all you need to do is slide the slot open, press down on the SD card, and it will spring out, and you've got your SD card. Now, one of the great features of using a DSLR is the fact that you can actually change the lens, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Now, unless you've bought your Canon 77D as a body only, it'll normally come with a lens, called a kit lens, like this one right here. I know it can seem a little bit daunting putting your lens on your expensive DSLR for the first time, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. To do it, simply line up the dots on your body and your lens, and twist. You should feel it click into place, and once that's done, you're good to go. And if you want to get the lens off again, it's really easy as well. All you need to do is press down the button again, and twist it in the opposite direction. Just a little tip here though, make sure when you do take your lens off that you don't get any dust or any sand or anything on the inside of your camera because that can actually affect your sensor. So just be a little bit careful with that. Now let's turn your camera around here and take a look at some of the ports on your Canon 77D. To access them, all you need to do is lift this little rubber cover here and you'll see all of your ports. Firstly, at the top here on the left, we've got your port for your intervalometer. This can be used if you want to take time lapses or some slow shutter shots. Then at the bottom, we have a port for your external microphone. And this is good if you wanna get some better quality shots with your videos. And at the top here, we have a USB port. Now this can be used to connect your Canon 77D to a computer to view and download your photos. And at the very bottom here, we have an HDMI port. This is great if you wanna connect your Canon 77D up to something like a TV or a monitor to view your photos on a big screen. Now these ports can be a little bit sensitive, so you always be a little bit careful when you're putting your cables in and taking them out. But other than that, they can be a great way to expand the ability of your Canon 77D. So that was just a few basic settings to get you up and running with your brand new Canon 77D. Now if you guys haven't done it yet, definitely make sure to subscribe to go into the draw to win a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600. And also make sure to check out my brand new list, the top five must have accessories for the Canon 77D. That link will be in the description box below under this video. Hope you have a fantastic day, happy shooting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.